sometimes when I'm communicating with this person I just met recently, when I know that person had some expat experience or immigrated or relocated or maybe traveled a lot, I immediately, I'm switching to different type of conversation because, yes. uh, you know, I, I feel that I can speak, you know, from the different perspective rather than with people who, with all respect, who lived all life in their own country and they might know better like about how to live in their own country, but as a person like i feel we can find more in common with people with similar background even it was different like different countries different uh, circumstances but this probably commonality and experience in resistance and growing up in changing in overcoming challenges i, I think it's probably what make us stronger i would say and why we feel more comfortable with people like us. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why we become friends, Emily. You're absolutely right. It's like, it's kind of a special club. And when you're in the expat club, you're always an expat. Even if you've moved back home, there's this like secret specialness that you've experienced of, of life. Like the biggest mind-opening experience you can have, I think, is to travel and to go experience other different cultures. So when you come together with people that also share those experiences, I do kind of have a theory that there's there's maybe a percentage of the population that have the gene, you know, in their DNA to go out and be the wanderer that goes and finds new lands and comes back with the information. And I kind of think that's what it is. We're like, we're hard to pin down. This nomadic um, gene, you know, yeah, it's still yeah. in some of us. Nomadics, like we all started this way. I mean, as a people, as a nation, and in different times, and we some recognize. of them it's still wailing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We find each other and we recognize. And there's like, so what you leave behind that grief? We're talking about the life you didn't have. You do find it in the people that you meet, and they are the people that have shared this experience. And just like one last point, when I first moved, and I do refer to this in uh, an article I wrote on LinkedIn, lost in translation way before I moved, I found this article someone had written saying that when you're an expat, you never really belong anywhere because there's a people you love over here and experiences you had here and then something in this other country and you can't bring it all together in the same place. But through the people, through the people that also have that nomadic experience, you can kind of share the, the trials and tribulations and the, the joys and the, the griefs together and we find like our unity and you find our home and in that community.